dopamine and adrenaline are really about moving forward or away from things. It's about not feeling comfortable where you're at, either because you're craving or because you're afraid, right? So these uh, molecules are interesting because they really do kind of separate themselves into different psychologies, if you will. So I could imagine taking on a practice where one sits down and focuses their mind on something that they want, so craving, this is not very uh, Zen sounding, right? You're supposed to be uh, separate from desires, but really focusing on something that you very much want or that you very much fear, but is in line with something that is probably good for you. And I imagine that meditation or focus or visualization would uh, liberate these molecules. You know, the brain visualization is powerful and the brain will make efforts to take a, a visualization and start creating the chemicals inside that, that mimic the real experience. And so that's why the kind of gratitude practices are so powerful. Uh, that's why focusing on something that we really want, it feels exciting. That excitement is the liberation of these molecules try, trying. I mean, it, it, they, these cells, they don't have their own mind, but it's a, it's a biological uh, a strategy to get you to move, to literally to get you out of your chair and move. 